Hey everybody, Doug here, and welcome back to our continuing series of videos around the Fireworks conventional line of panels. In today's video, we would like to show you how to wire an auxiliary booster power supply to your FX5 or FX10 conventional panel. The FX5 and FX10 control panels will provide you an auxiliary power circuit that is 24 volts DC regulated and can support up to half an amp of power. The auxiliary power circuit will be used to power things such as remote enunciators, graphic enunciator cards, and some remote modules. If you have an installation that's going to require more than half an amp of auxiliary power, you must use a power limited and regulated 24 volt DC auxiliary power supply that is UL or ULC listed for fire protective signaling systems in order to power some or all of that ancillary equipment. When you go to configure your booster panel, you're going to want to do the following. We recommend placing switch 6 on switch bank 2 into the on position. This will dedicate the trouble relay on the booster panel for AC power loss only. In this configuration, the trouble relay will change state within 20 seconds after your AC power loss or AC power restoration. In addition, you're going to want to set your NAC types for auxiliary power. To configure NAC1 for auxiliary power, you will place switches 5 and 6 at switch bank 1 into the on position. For NAC 2, you will place switches 7 and 8 on at switch bank 1. For NAC 3, you will place switches 1 and 2 at switch bank 2 in the on position. And for NAC 4, you will place switches 3 and 4 in the on position at switch bank 2. For our configuration, we've chosen to use NAC2 for our auxiliary power circuit, as you can see by our LED being turned on. And so we have switches 7 and 8 in the on position for switch bank 1. On your FX control panel, we recommend that you program one of your IDCs or initiating device circuits for the remote AC fail zone type when monitoring that relay on the booster panel. We also have a figure in the FX panel manual which shows some additional wiring connections that you're going to need to interface the booster to the control panel. You're going to wire the aux power common on the booster panel back to the aux power common on the FX control panel. The purpose of the interconnect wire is so that if we get a ground fault on the auxiliary power circuit at the booster, we will generate a trouble and a ground fault back at the FX control panel. That's important because we've dedicated the trouble relay on the booster for AC power loss only. One of the last things that we would like to mention in our video today is that when you are using an aux power circuit on your booster, we would recommend that you supervise that auxiliary power circuit with a relay or other type of power supervision device and then tie the contact from that supervision device back to another IDC on your FX control panel. That will ensure an open on that auxiliary power circuit coming off of the booster power supply will generate a trouble for that zone back at the FX control panel. If you have other types of installations that require the use of an auxiliary booster power supply, we recommend that you refer to the booster power supply manual for those configurations. That wraps up our video today. If you'd like some additional information, please visit our website, kidda-fire.com, or you can select the link below and you'll return to our YouTube site where you can view some additional product videos.